Well, hello there yet again. Um, I just decided to make one more, so I'm making three in a row. I said three in a row, and I know uh, I'm trying to get better at this, so I think practice makes perfect, and I make three in this run, and then I'll do further on when I'm on vacation. So, yeah, without further ado, this time we're gonna review a beer from another country. So, we're gonna travel to Sweden, lovely land of Sweden. The land of prohibition or, <laughs> or political correctness and stuff like that. But actually I found out they make pretty decent cheap beer. And we're also going down into the bucket basement yet again. Uh, yeah, the beer in question is from, um, actually it's from, from uh, Coinlines, uh, a big, uh, bigger Swedish brewery conglomerate again, yet again, a big conglomerate that has many other beer producers under its um, factory umbrella or corporate umbrella uh, as of such. So, the brewery in question is from a brewery called Three Hearts, I think it is. And the beer in question is this. It's called Stockholm Fine Festival Beer. It's a 5.3% beer, and it's yet again a canned beer from the dreaded bug bargain basement. So, as of now, I'm gonna try and say it like this in other, every video when I review Bargain Basement Beer. So, without further ado, let's see, what does the page read here on the beer? What does it say? Okay, let's see. Uh, Stockholm Fine Festival Beer, 5.3, 8 Golden Deal. DLG. The DLG, that's a beer... Actually, I think it's like the beer Oscars for beer. I'm not sure about it, but I think it is. I have to look further into that. So, yeah, without further ado, let's, let's read on here. Uh, Stockholm Fine Festival Export is a festival beer that's suitable for festive occasions. Yeah, I have a festive occasion tonight, kinda. So, let's read on here. Uh, the beer is a light lager type with well-balanced bitterness and fine aftertaste. The scent is fresh and aromatic. The beer is easy to drink and suits many different tastes. Mm. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. I have actually tasted this. I, I have a good experience with the beer. So, but I've never taste tested it. So. Let's see, read on here. So, uh, the beer is easy to drink. Uh -huh. Then the possibility is great that you will take uh, upon a uh, liking for our Stockholm Fine Festival. Yay! Coin Lines has created this beer as a celebration to our beautiful capital, Stockholm. Oh, yeah. So, let's see. Let's see. If this beer lives up to the expectations of of uh, what Queen Lines has to write here, but okay, it has a pretty good rep here. Let's read on. Queen Lines Brewery has also been richly awarded as the German by the German DLG, regarded as the world world's hardest objective quality ju judgment of beers. Naturally, eight gold, and the latest gold was in 2013. That's that's kind of nice, and several several medals shows that it is a beer of world class. That's another bold statement. We'll have to look into in just a bit, just a wee bit. And description: Nature brew, broad grain beer of lager type, malt, pilsner malt, hops, magnum and pearl. Mm -hmm. What grains? Uh, Corn and sugar available in 50 CL cans. Uh, yeah, and in 33 as well. So, yeah. You know the drill. Let's crack this bitch open and see 
how it looks like. Hmm. Damn. It's actually just as light as the as the the blue Thor I tried earlier. Um and I forgot to, to smell it first. Let's see. We can smell now. Uh, I got beer on my nose. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. Mm. I've got a bit of beer in my beard again. Actually, it has a wee, wee bit more more smell to it than the uh, Blue Thor, uh, the other budget budget basement we tasted earlier. I tasted earlier, um, and it has. Hmm? I get I get this kind of that's uh, not, not 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 that citrusy, but. Just a wee hint of, of something citrus and a bit of bitterness. Just a wee bit. Just a wee 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 bit. Let's pour the last thing in the glass without spilling it. Let's let's try it. Let's, hmm? Hmm. Hang on. It's, it's, actually, it smells different in the glass. Hang on. Yeah. It has a bit of a different smell to to it when when poured into a glass. Actually, from drinking it right out of the can, which I do normally with this one as well. Um, let's taste it. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I can smell the sugar. No, taste. Sorry, I can taste the sugar. The, the taste. The, the, that's a wee hint of sugar. Um, and actually, uh, it's 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 quite um, the beer as such is quite it it's it it flows quite well down. It's I mean, it tastes kind of good. It's actually just um, it takes me a bit back. To an earlier time where I was discovering beers. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I was drinking all of the cheap stuffs, really cheap, like in just made from made from leftovers from brews that weren't up to specs and stuff like that. So actually, mm. yeah. That's there's that sugar smell again. Uh, sugar taste, sorry. It has a taste of, of the sugar taste. It just, mm, mm. it's, it's not, it's not, it's, it's kind of the aftertaste of it. It's kind of sugary, with a wee hint of corn right now. Actually, mm. Mm, mm. yeah, the corn. I, I can taste just a wee hint of corn as well, but actually, I like the taste. So. What's hmm. one last taste? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do I recommend this beer? Sure, hell I do. Actually, it's it's one of those beers you can more easily enjoy in a festival or just slightly chilled, uh, like the eight to twelve degrees stuff, like. And also right from the fridge. Right from the fridge, I don't think I would not recommend it, hence the taste. So yeah. Actually I would give it the rating of uh if I I, I won't I'm I'm not actually I'm not into all of those ratings like oh one out of five and uh, yeah, it's it's a good beer, I give it five out of five uh, hops and blah, blah, blah. nope. I'll say one thing. I'll use the terms, and this term is damn drinkable beer. Beer. I've given out one damn good beer, and that was to to the um, to the Kangob, and that's a quality beer. But as in the bucket bargain basement 
basement type, like what you buy in the uh, tax-free shops in Germany, the Danish, the one with the Danish stuff and so so on and so forth. Actually, this beer, damn good beer for the price. So, without further ado, I say cheers. This will be the last beer review for me for a bit. I think I'll pick it up later when I'm on vacation, and that'll be quite soon. I think I'm gonna make a vlog of that. That's a side note. But uh, yeah, without further ado, cheers! Mm -hmm. And I wish you all a good one.